Hey there guys, Headphones Dylan here, back with another Android game review, and in this case is going to be my initial impressions of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. So, um, I got it using some of my Google Play credits, thinking that, okay, well I'll give it a shot, it's a nice retro game. I saw a bunch of good reviews about it, and it was generally well received when it first came out. So I was like, okay, well, it looks interesting enough, so let's give it a shot. And overall, I want to say that the environment is pretty intriguing. You start playing as um, Rickman, so one of the side characters, and I guess eventually you have to pick up Alucard and one of the their lady friends in order to redefeat Dracula, I guess. But um, overall, the premise of the game sounds interesting enough, and the looks are retro enough, but it's interesting enough to see the unique range of characters that are in the game but the game itself is unusual in that you do have to navigate around quite a bit to find anything none of it really felt very intuitive to me and that kind of um is turning me off to the game just because it seems like i'm going back and forth on a lot of the same areas and jumping around to explore new areas is not doesn't necessarily to me. It doesn't not necessarily have to be easy to find, but um, doorways and portals seem to take you to the same places over and over. And even jumping around on stairs and staircases to go up and down, or even left and right through areas, are not necessarily um, cut and dry. So overall, that part of it seems kind of strange, especially just for being on the first level. Um, to me, you would think you would think that being on the first level, you'd want to get through it relatively easily or more straightforward and um, and then make the game progressively get harder from there. Um, and even in the stages that I've gone through so far, um, I did already get into an area where I could fight against Alucard, which was an interesting enough fight. So when you pick up the right weapons and use your super attack, then he's pretty easy to um, defeat, but that's really the only benefit you get there. There's not really much of a um, benefit for killing him earlier at any point and even some of the other areas that you find with special for that are special rooms like um, there's a couple of rooms with coffins to regenerate your health which are nice but there's very little story or presentation as to why those areas are significant so uh, for me the recommendation if you're coming in not ever having played any of the games or not or basically your first time playing a game of this type would be to basically just push the up arrow when you get into one of these end rooms um, to see if doing that will allow you to do anything so it would have been nice to have some sort of um, script or some text or anything saying that Okay, you're in a just aside from just being entering a, an important room and giving you the room that you're in, saying regeneration room, or um, when you're navigating around, just have a pop up to explain what can go on and make it cryptic so you know that something needs to be done in that room, and progressively take those away so that as you get used to the game, then you know that um, when you're in a particular area that does not seem to serve a purpose, that there might actually be a hidden purpose for being in that room. Um, aside from that, the only other thing that I found troublesome or weird about the game was that the controls are not very user-friendly or intuitive. There's no real customization for the buttons, so they feel kind of um, big and far apart, so they overlay too much with the game. So at some points, it can be just not necessarily overlaying too much with what you see, but they're far enough apart where you would think that you're hitting the left or right button or the up or down buttons or even the attack buttons, but you're not. And so the enemies get a lot more damage on you than what he expected. So being able to customize the options would be nice and having more um, responsiveness on the buttons would be nice. So in playing the game, sometimes the game uh, plays okay where... Um, it's it's responsive, but then for some reason at some points it seems to slow down drastically to the point where um, you don't really know if you're hitting the buttons, not hitting the buttons right, um, or if you're out of energy for some reason, which would could be an interesting thing to incorporate, um, or if your character is tired or something along those lines and needs a regeneration or something along those lines, it w would be nice, but it, the game doesn't really present that very well, so... Things like that in the game 
make it hard to play. So, um, as of this recording, I've, I'm still on the first level. I, I think I've, I tried looking for some walkthroughs or guides as far as the levels, but there's not really much I could see as far as what's going on in the game or what there is to do. So, um, I'm going to keep trying playing the game periodically, um, just to see if I can progress further and um, a upload the video so the progress is there. But um, for me, as of this recording on um, December 13th, December 12th, or, or, um, 2020, I am going to probably shift my focus over to Knights of the Old Republic 2 um, for Android. That's c when it comes out in about a week or basically in a few days, just because I, not to say that I know that, but coming from Knights of the Old Republic 1, I just know that it feels like a game that would be more enjoyable or maybe more up my alley than Castlevania Symphony of the Night. So, um, not to say that Cas Castlevania is a bad game by any stretch of the imagination, it's probably just not my kind of game to play. So, um, there's that. And then I will say that on, at least on Google Play, it does have a pretty good rating that it's around, I think, 4.5 or 6 or so, something like that. So generally people like it. And when I was browsing through the comments around the time of this recording, I did see that people have a general issue with the controls and things like that. So, um, for me, I think it's going to be more of a game of patience than anything else. And maybe uh, for me, I just need, do need some ticks, tips and tricks to see how I can progress. Or maybe I just need a better map to follow in order to get around to different parts of the game. So that's all there is for this particular review. So wanted to get my initial impressions out before I forget about the game or before I start playing Knights of the Old Republic 2. Um, just to share my thoughts and if you have any comments, uh, feedback, guides, or tips, or if, if you played the game or um, if you started to play the game and your general thoughts on it, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is PatelN01.com for the past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. And I'll have a link in the show notes to the playlist I've created on YouTube for the uh, gameplay videos of Castlevania that I've uploaded and gone through in the game so far, so you can check those out. Um, so you can find those on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01. And I'll continue uploading them, the vi uh, gameplay videos as I play the game. Um, and hopefully make some more progression beyond um, finding and finding Alucard and finding the regeneration coffin for the health. Um, and things like that. So um, your subscription it would be great there. So thanks for tuning into this particular review. And until next time.